as we go through life, our eyes are facing forward. But as we practice the Dharma, we have to turn to learn how to turn them around. So we look inside. We can see so many things out there in the world, but the real problems are inside. It's easy to see the faults of other people. That seems to be what the news is nowadays. But that's not going to save you from suffering, knowing all about their faults. It's seeing your own faults. That's what's going to make a difference. So turn your eyes around. Look inside. When a thought comes up, ask yourself, is this true? Is this beneficial? Is this the right time and place? Those same questions that you ask for your speech apply to your thoughts as well. Because the mind just keeps churning out things. And it's up to us, though, to decide what we want to pick up and what we don't want to pick up. All too often we just go along with the flow. But you know the nature of flow. Things tend to flow down. So you have to be very careful about what you're going to choose to focus on, what you're going to choose to think about. So keep asking yourself, is it true, is it beneficial, and is this the right time and place? Being conscious of the fact that we all come from delusion. Sometimes what seems true to us is not quite so true. What seems beneficial may not be. And what seems to be the right time and place is not the right time and place at all. So you have to look at your actions and their results. And that should keep you fully occupied, to the point where you don't have time to look at other people's faults. You're too busy taking care of your own. You don't just watch them. There's that story in the story cycle of Si Tanon Chai in Thailand. Si Tanon Chai started out as a child. He was a bad child to begin with. He learned pretty quickly that the Thai language has lots of ways of playing tricks on you. You can take things literally and get into all kinds of trouble, or use it to get out of trouble, which is what he would do. It so happened that he had a younger brother he was jealous of. And so one day the parents said, OK, watch your brother. We're going to go out for a while. We'll be back soon. So he said, ah, here, I can take them literally. So he just watched his brother. The brother it took some poison. He just watched. The brother fell off the porch. He just watched. Of course, that wasn't the parents' meaning. But he insisted that that was what he was told to do, just watch. So when you say, watch your mind, it doesn't mean just watch whatever comes up and say, oh, this is the way it is. You have to ask yourself, these thoughts, should I get engaged with them or not? Because you're not just watching passively a show going past. You're part of the producer. You're, you're the actress. The whole production crew is you. So what are you producing? What kind of shows are you producing? Conscious of the fact that it's not just a show. It comes out in your actions and has an impact on the world around you. So watch over your mind. Take care that the things you think about really are true and beneficial and timely. And you learn to solve a lot of problems in that way.